The fourth setting in the system settings is the employee settings. And this feature is only available to those of you that have the premium and unlimited service. And there's some really neat things you can do here. But let's start by clicking on the employee settings and it will load this page. Now the system asks for five pieces of information about your employee. Their first name, last name, title, email address, and photograph. Again, when you upload their photo, you can crop it down here at the bottom. This is the photo that you uploaded. And the top one is ultimately what's going to show up on the coupon or flyer. Now what I want you to notice is the only time it's important to put a title in here for your employee is if you want your employee's um, information to show up on a coupon or a flyer. If you don't, there's no reason for this. The only time you want to put in their email address is if you want to inform the employee uh, that a customer has written a testimonial, feedback, or um, a review. Um, so what will happen is if you put in their email address, they will simultaneously get that information the same time you do. And that's completely up to you. If you don't put the email in, you'll be the only one that's notified when that's the case. When you're finished, just scroll down here and click on Save. Now once you've done that, your employee is going to be loaded into the system. Uh, and by the way, the first thing you'll see is that the owner manager setting is automatically set here in the employee list. So if I wanted to load a different employee here to make some changes, I could click on that particular employee's name. Uh, they would load up and I could change their photograph or change their title or include an email address if I wanted to. Now you'll notice under the owner manager setting here, there is no email address because it's not necessary. The owner manager always gets a notification at the notification address that was uh, set up in the account settings. But when you go down to any of the employees, and let's go back to Josh Summers, You'll see in that case, you have the option of leaving an email address in there. All right, again, as we go to the bottom, you'll see that there is a default setting. Now, what does that mean? You'll notice it's currently set to, to Bob Summers Yes. If I click on uh, Jimmy Henderson, you'll notice the no here changes to a yes. Let's scroll down. And Jimmy is loaded as the default, but let's go back to Bob Summers, and that's how you change that. That screen keeps jumping around here. So currently I'm set as the default. Well, here's what that means. When you go to send a review request, you will see down here that when you decide which employee this review was linked to, that's the, the Bob Summers is currently the default. So if I changed it to Jimmy Henderson, when I go to this page, Jimmy Henderson would be the one that just shows up. Now you can always change it, but generally you want the default to be the person who's responsible for the most reviews or review requests. So that's what the default means. The next thing is on coupon. In this case, I'm going to be on the coupon, Josh is going to be on the coupon, uh, but Jimmy Henderson, who's a technician, we're not going to have Jimmy Henderson on the coupon, and here's why. So let's look and see what does show up when we do turn this on coupon, and that's actually coupon or flyer. Here's what happens. So in this case, you'll notice that we selected Josh as the employee when we um, sent out the review request. So his picture, name and title, along with text that reads, please ask for me when you call or visit, is going to show up right here on the coupon or flyer. Now, if we selected Jimmy Henderson, who is not on the coupon, this is what your customers would see. They would just see a blank space here. Uh, because in this case, we don't want customers uh, requesting that they talk to Jimmy Henderson, who's a technician out in the field. It's not appropriate. The other thing that's really interesting, and it's like, why would you select Jimmy Henderson anyway? Well, the neat thing about this is, one of the features of the system is we can track all of the reviews, feedback, and testimonials. And you can see in this case, Robert Simon wrote a review on Google, and it is associated with Jimmy Henderson. So in this case, we know that Jimmy Henderson had the interaction with the customer, and that when the customer wrote a review, uh, it had to do with his interaction with Jimmy Henderson. So that is when you would want to either put this information on a coupon or not on a coupon. The other interesting thing is you can have the same information show up. So for example, with uh, let's go to Josh Summers. Let's load him here. Uh, if you choose not to upload your photo, and we have a lot of people that choose not to, but they do want to be on the coupon, if you just don't load your photo and leave this blank, this information, Josh Summers, technical review leader, along with please ask for me when you call or visit, the text will still show up without a photo. So you have that option as well. Okay, so that's how the employee settings work, and you can do some really, really neat things with it. In the next setting, we're going to look at review website settings.